everybody. Welcome. It's Steve Barrier with Lake State Mortgage and the FloridaMortgageCenter.com. It's a beautiful Saturday morning, and I am being joined by my newfound Rimfire Roadrunner friend, Amber Baumer. Now, Amber teaches first grade there, and you know we're we're getting uh, yay back into the back to school portion of the year. In fact, what uh, the fifth through the seventh of August is um, tax free weekend. Tax free weekend. So. You're going to want to, you know, get all your school supplies this that weekend, August 5th through 7th, uh, because, you know, the government's backing out. <laughs> they're, 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 they're backing out. Awesome. We love it when the government backs out of things. So, now, what we're talking about uh, today and why I have Amber here is to kind of help you moms and dads out uh, with the, um, you know, the dress code um, and reg regulations and stuff that are coming up, you know, because when we were in school, we really, you know, unless we were going to private schools, we didn't have these uh, dress codes and regulations, but I guess there's reasons why we have have them now in public schools, um, you know, so why don't we talk a little bit about our local requirements, Amber, so that the moms and dads here uh, know exactly how to, they should be dressing their child so that they don't get sent home. Sounds great. We'll start with pants or bottoms. Yeah, um, all right, bottoms. Bottoms are good. For the district, um, students can wear khaki pants, khaki shorts, khaki skirts for the girls. Mm -hmm. um, girls can also wear the jumpers. No khaki, that's... Um, khaki is going to be your tan. Tans, tan yeah, tans. Um, yeah. In addition to that, they can wear gray, black. Mm -hmm. um, they can wear white. Um, also, denim is, a, is allowed. Oh, they can wear jeans. They can wear jeans, All yes. right, great, great. They can wear jeans. That's not that bad. What about uh, women and, and the, the girls? Um, they can wear the skirt. They still can wear the, the long pants. They can mm -hmm. wear the shorts, um, skirts, skirts, or jumpers. Uh, just have to remember that four inches above the knee, any right, shorts so or skirts, four inches um, right. know, above the knee. you got to measure okay, that out. Okay, yeah, so it can't be anything like a you know, restaurant uniform or something like that, right. that that we see. <laughs> okay, right. all right. Um, condition of the clothes. I mean, they have to be brand new. They don't have to be brand new. You can use um, clothes that you've had in the past years or mm -hmm. clothes that you've gotten from others. Just have to make sure there's no holes in them, no tears in them. Um, right. You want them to look nice and, and ready for school. All right, so it's not so much a uniform per se. It's just, you know, like business casual, mainly yes. attire. With specifications to color. Mm hmm Okay, all right, all right. And I see, I see here something you were talking about uh, uh, that they, uh, if the, if the pants are designed for belts, then they have to have a belt? In grades 4 through 6, or 4 through 12, I suppose. Okay. Younger K to 3 grades are exempt from right, that rule. Yeah, they don't get belts. Right. And usually drawstrings or something yes. like that, probably. <laughs> something quick. Now, all right, well, on shirts, um, I, you know, I would imagine a shirt like this would be okay? Shirts like that are okay. Mm -hmm. Polo shirts um, with a collar, just like this one. Uh, Button-up shirts are great. Uh, shirts have to be uh, short sleeve or long sleeve. Right. Um, District colors for shirts are gray, black, and white, and then each school has their own colors as well. All right, so certainly then no, uh, no t-shirts or anything like that are now allowed in the schools. T-shirts are saved for spirit shirts on Fridays. On Friday. Oh, I see. School. Okay. All right. Um, now colors, and it's funny because when um, I think colors, you know, of course I think of the old movie with colors and you know uh, people in the hood <laughs> and you know. But, um, and uh, in fact, I'm, I'm thinking one of the reasons why we have these uniform coding schools is because to avoid um, children coming in wearing, um, you know, colors that represent um, yes. things that we don't want to promote in our schools. Yes. So what are, what are the local school colors? Uh, Banal Elementary School's mm -hmm. colors are green and blue. Okay. Uh, Rimfire is dark blue, navy blue, and burgundy. Okay. Uh, Beltair Elementary is blue and pink. Mm -hmm. Wadsworth, okay. blue and red. Old Kings is a royal blue and pink. Indian Ooh, Trails rough. Middle School is maroon and gold. Buddy Taylor Middle School, blue and green. Blue and green, all right. So, um, you know, plenty to choose from. Plenty I mean, I didn't from. see anything really obnoxious in those colors, so. Um, and shoes, I guess no sandals, uh, no sandals for men, but what about what about the girls? They can't wear? Closed toed shoes is recommended for playground safety. Okay, so that's that's shoes. both sexes then, yes. closed toed shoes. Yes. All right. Well, guys, I mean that's a that's a very good idea, a very good general idea of uh, exactly what we need to be dressing our children so they don't get sent home. And you know, I mean, I mean, you know, we love school because they're away from home. So God forbid if they get sent home, right? <laughs> 
Absolutely. Well, Amber, thank you so much for joining us uh, and giving us this great public service announcement. And guys, don't forget, August 5th to 7th is the uh, No Tax Weekend. Uh, one other thing uh, that Amber did ask me to mention uh, to you all, if you haven't checked out, if, you're, if your children are in need of extra attention in a particular topic or um, you know subject at school, uh, each school does have a, an active tutor program. Uh, that Amber is involved with at Rimfire, so um, you know, make sure you contact your school, you know, your child's school, respectively, and uh, find out the ins and outs of that tutor program if they're having issues. Okay, that's it's there for them. So um, thank you very much, Amber, for uh, coming you. out. And guys, if you know, if you need to uh, get in touch with me for any mortgage help, please give me a call. I'm here. All right, bye bye now. Bye bye.